Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how you can monitor another part of your workbook or worksheet. Um, let's say you want to make changes and you want to see the results and you want to kind of have a live monitoring view of another section of your worksheet to see how your changes impact those. Well, it's pretty simple with Excel, so let's take a look and see how we can do that. So here we just have a large data table. And at the very bottom of the data table, you can see I have just totals of the quantity and the dollars. And also on the second sheet, I also have a subtotal of um, the quantities through row 100 and the dollars through row 100. I'm going to go back to my original sheet here, and I want to make some changes in the top section, but I want to keep an eye on how it affects the values of the totals down here and also the subtotals that I have on another sheet. Well, what I can do is just go to that section, highlight it, copy it with Control C as I normally would, go to where I want to place that, click the down arrow on the paste command in the home tab of the ribbon and select linked picture and select that. I'll notice what Excel has done is created an object that I can locate anywhere on my worksheet. And now when I make changes, let's say I do something dramatic here, I'll make this 5 million. Notice how it automatically changes that. So I don't have to scroll down to the bottom of my sheet to see the impact of any changes I make. That can also be done when it's on a separate worksheet. So for example, I'll highlight that, Control C to copy, go back to my main worksheet, paste, paste a linked picture, and again, I can relocate that anywhere I want, and as I make changes, it automatically modifies and adjusts any of the values that I have on that pictured link so I can see what's happening in other parts of my workbook as I make changes to my data. One thing you might want to consider, notice if I take one of these and hover it over my data, it's pretty easy to view. But if for some reason I don't have it color coded or I don't have any fill on it, let's just highlight this and go to here and mark it as no fill. Go back up to here. Notice how when I put it over another area that has data, it's very hard to see. It's almost uh, it's transparent and it makes that difficult. So you might want to consider using some sort of fill when you're creating uh, this type of watch window, uh, for lack of a better term, so that when you hover over an area that has some data in it, it's still very easy to see. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.